what is up ladies and gents Vusi Max here and on today's video i got um a weekly analysis for you guys right so i've been quite meaning to do this video for a minute now i just been sick since i just i just been sick since i came from the from from the cape town classes and everything so like i i, I kind of took some time out to kind of recover and stuff but like I'm glad to be feeling good today, so on that note, I'm going to kickstart the week with an analysis video for you guys, right? So, what we got going on is, um, on today's watch list, we have four, we have five currency pairs, right? We got AUD, um, AUD, CAD, CAD, CHF, EUR, CAD. EU or USD USD CAD. Wow, we I think it's quite it's quite crazy how the CAD is like the most common currency of God. But like, let's just look at the ana analysis and then take it from there. We'll see. We'll see what what's going on, right? So we're gonna start with um U AUD CAD today, right? And. How I like to start with my analysis, I like to define the trend first, right? So what I'm seeing from this pay on the and I like and, and guys I prefer to use the the H4 time frame, right? So that like my trades aren't like long term or like you know, I like to just focus on what the price is doing at the current moment. So on that note, I'm looking at AUD C A D and I'm seeing an uptrend, right? we got i'm analyzing this space starting from there right with this is our first low we have a high we have a higher low a higher high and another higher low right so the first thing i'm gonna do for this pair i'm gonna draw our trend line right I'm going to draw a trend line connecting the first and the second low, right? And then I'm going to move it just the way it is to the current price. So this is what we have right now, right? So now that we define the trend, obviously now because it's an uptrend, I'm I'm looking to, to buy instead of selling because uh, by defining the trend, it's kind of already told me which side will be dominating you know what i mean like if it's an uptrend it's a buyer's market so i wouldn't want to sell you know so what i'm gonna do now is draw a reversal line my reversal line so i know when the trend is gonna continue oh just like that and I'm always like, I'm always telling, I'm always telling my, my, my students that like, it, it doesn't matter how you draw your trend lines or your reversal lines. Some people draw them to the, to the end of the wicks. Some people draw them to the end of the body of a candlestick, but to each their own, you know, like it's, 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 it's the same application and they work in the same way. So like, there's no perfect way of, you know, doing that. So from 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 drawing the reversal line i can see that there's a there's there's already a candlestick which already formed there's there's a candlestick which already formed on the other side of my reversal line this is and this is what i wait for like to to enter a market so the fact that um already there's a candlestick which which crossed the reversal line i'm going to wait i'm going to wait for for this candlestick to actually close since it's a it's a four hour time frame candlestick i'm gonna wait until this candlestick is closed and then i'll end i'll only enter the market on the next candlestick right i'm only gonna enter the market on the next candlestick and i'm gonna set my targets i'm gonna set my targets um as the way we 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 like, as the way the straight like our strategy at Supreme Trade is like, 
instruct like instruct us to like put our to 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 put our tp and sl so like at this moment i'm only looking to buy in this market right and then the tp and the sl the only principle i have on the tp and sl is that like just just make sure that your stop loss is not as 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 big as your take profit for this one so like that's what i have to say for this but like definitely looking to sell after the, the current h4 candlestick and then that's it for 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 AUDCAD. let's go to let's look at cad chf mm. so like as you can see we i'm seeing an uptrend also on this one starting from starting from there i'm seeing an uptrend so what i like to do is i like to focus on what the price is doing at the moment i trade what what the price is doing so i'm always looking to react to the market instead of trying to predict right so i'm seeing an uptrend also on this one so i'm gonna draw the trend line like this <clears throat> excuse me so like yeah i'm seeing an uptrend on this pay also i'm seeing higher highs and higher lows so i know there's more strength into the buyers and there's we there's weakness in with the sellers so i'll only be looking to buy unless we break the the unless we break the trend line meaning sellers will most likely take over this market so on this pay drawing my reversal line so i know when to buy it actually would be there right and looking at this pay it already crossed the reversal line right so it already crossed the reversal line already you know but what's weird is I'm seeing movement to the upside, but the candlesticks aren't moving like as they're supposed to move. Like say how the candlesticks were, were building up there, there was more strength. Also, there wasn't too much strength here, but the candlesticks were still showing action to the upside, right? There was momentum there, and there was also like strong momentum there. So like, I'm just surprised why there isn't that much momentum on this one so i'm gonna first have to look at this right i'm gonna first pay attention to this this um currency pair before i actually buy into into the buy into strength right so on this one definitely looking to buy but i kind of have my mind you know like i'm 50 50 at this moment because like i'm surprised like where the strength at though? Where where where's the strength? So like, we'll have to see with this one. I'll definitely keep my team updated about this one. And that's it for C A D C H F. And then we got the Euro CAD right now. So with the Euro CAD, I've been seeing a downtrend lately. I've been seeing a downtrend lately, right? since the 15th of april in the uh four hour time frame which is why i drew the 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 why the trend line is already drawn but like the first reversal that we had it's a by the way it's a downtrend so like it's a there's more strength into selling than there is into buying right so the first reversal was kind of last week when we had this right there and as you can see the drop which came after just as soon as the, the the first candlestick crossed the reversal line there was like strength momentum there was strong bearish momentum just after that happened you know so like right now i can't sell yet because like i don't want you don't want to sell at the bottom of the of the of price because you're gonna sell and then the price will actually go up so what i'm kind of forecasting before i can sell is 
reversal movement towards the reversal movement towards the trend line right so i'm i'm forecasting reversal movements towards the trend line and as soon as i get a lower high because this is our previous high right so as soon as i get a lower higher than that so say if um the candlesticks builds up and then rejects to to actually break our trend line that means it's a lower high so as soon as it starts dropping that's when i'm gonna sell into the bearish strength right i hope i hope that's clear to you so at the moment i'm keeping this on my watch list i'm most probably not gonna trade this one today but as the week goes you know so this that's it for for the euro cad so now we're gonna look at the um, usd cad usd cad so this pair guys this pair is actually quite interesting because like it's been in a ranging market since um the first of april we can say the first of april this pair has been in a range market right until 23rd of april right wow that's a long time so 23 days of a of a ranging market but you know like the market has this times where it's either doing a correction or an impulse right so the impulse part of a market is when the market is actually like either going up or going down with strong momentum and then the the correctional part of a of a of price it's when we see movement to the sideways when a when a pay a currency pay takes you know like um time out to actually just move sideways you don't see no particular pattern or anything like that so it's definitely too harder to trade um a correctional wave than to trade an impulse right so i know i know that you're probably asking yourself like so if if this market is in a ranging market then why why do you like have it on your watch list because it's it's actually not um doing the correctional thing it's actually not in a ranging market no more right so i'm gonna show you what i'm seeing with this pair all right so i'm seeing an uptrend with this pair my uptrend starts from there right i'm seeing this low i'm seeing a high i'm seeing a higher low a higher high and i'm waiting for a higher low and buy into I buy into momentum when the when the when the price actually starts going to a higher high right so how we analyzing this one is we go we we gonna start at i didn't want to use um this kind of line but wanted to use the arrow right so so that this is going up so we have this low right we have this low and the second low so all we have to do is just align the price to our current price come on mate uh-huh this is the line right so let me get rid of the parallel lines because you're no longer in a in a in a ranging market but i just wanted you guys to be aware right so the first reversal we had was there all right we had the first reversal there and then just after we crossed the, the we crossed the reversal line we had strong bullish momentum so what i'm seeing now we had we had strong bullish momentum and then now we're in a correction because it's, the price is actually going down now right but since it's an uptrend i'm waiting for i'm waiting for a higher low then i know that the price is likely gonna we likely gonna see some more bullish momentum and buy into strength right so i didn't want to use this line though i wanted the So this is what's going on right now guys 
we have our vessel line like that you see so we're waiting for the price to actually we still get like we still have to 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 give this pair a chance to like to still drop if we're still gonna drop but if it if we start seeing bullish bullish uh, movement now then all we have to do is look out for a candlestick to cross the reversal line and buy into strength right so yeah that's that's pretty much it for usd usd cad i'm interested to see this one how it's gonna go also so we just gonna keep an eye on it and i'm gonna keep my team updated with what's going on with it so <clears throat> pretty much that's all i had that's all i have for you guys today right but i have a bonus pay which i decided to sneak um in the in the watch list which is the euro usd right so the euro usd is an interesting pay for two reasons right i'm seeing like i'm seeing a trend the same trend i'm seeing the same trend within within two different time frames right i'm gonna start by showing you the what's going on with the daily chart so with a daily chart this is a this is a very good looking downtrend you know what i mean this that's a that's a downtrend and a half right there like proper structure clearly defined highs and lows and that's all we need that's all we need babe so i'm gonna go now to the four hours when I go to the four hour time frame, I'm not gonna zoom out to see the whole movement of the of this pair, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at what the price is doing right now. I'm seeing a downtrend because where there's a high there, low, lower high, lower low, and I'm waiting for what a lower high and sell into strength right so what what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna draw this um trend line like this yep yep i'm gonna draw my trend line like this right <clears throat> excuse me so there was a first um reversal up there when we went to make a lower high understand <clears throat> that, that was the first reversal we had and then now the second reversal we actually have is one we see right here so guys you know like at this moment i'm gonna give we're gonna give this pair a chance to actually if it has to go if the price has to go up and reach like make contact with the trend line then so be it we'll just give the give this pair a chance to do what it has to do right so until i see a candlestick which crosses the reversal line until i see a candlestick that's gonna cross the reversal line i'm not gonna sell right i'm only gonna wait to see what's what's going on and say if we cross the 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 trend line if we cross the trend line then i most probably look to buy into this pair right but uh, let's just focus on what's let's focus on what's what we let's focus on what the price is gonna do first and then we'll only react to to what's going on but this one is also interesting i think i think you might see more momentum to the downside but we only have to wait so all in all guys this is this is all i have for you guys today for this week this weekly this week's analysis and if you found this video helpful please give it a, give it a thumbs up um subscribe please subscribe if you haven't and hit comment with which pair you like with comment with which pair you have analyzed for this weekend let's have let's have a conversation like right so to make a recap of what we spoke about we we, we analyzed the AUDCAD, cad cad chf 
and we say it's 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 a bit weird how like this pay is kind of moving, you know. How this pay is lacking momentum even after crossing the reversal line. So we have the ERCAD. We're waiting for a reversal for this one. We have USDC USDCAD. This one is interesting. I'm I'm I'm. I'm waiting for a higher low and then we'll buy into strength. And then we have EURUSD, which seems to be still going up. So, like, we're only gonna wait for candlestick to cross either the uptrend, uh, I mean, either the downtrend or the reversal line, right? So, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys.